So this is where I might be able to do outfits of the day, but for now, I just want to show you, I'm, light's not great. I'm wearing my new shirt from H&M with a navy tank top from Target underneath it, old belt from Target, which I'll explain why in a minute. Um, these are the uh, old navy boyfriend skinny pants or something like that. They come rolled like that, and then my, I don't even know who makes these shoes but I love them. I can find out for you and tell you. And the reason I'm wearing a belt and having to cinch it in, I have these in two other colors in the same size, size four, and they fit just fine. I put these on this morning, didn't even think about trying them on because the other two are the same size. Pulled the tags off, slid it on, and I weigh the same, but I mean, can you see this? Like, what is going on there? So, while I'm not complaining that these are too big, I'm annoyed because I have to, I mean, they're okay. They're just, Maybe I'll wash them and dry them and then things should work out better. But anyway, off to go to the grocery store for the third time in two days because I love it. We are in my husband's favorite store, Brooks Brothers, but we're not here for him. We're here to find my little guy a suit for his bar mitzvah. This is the ladies section. They actually have some great basic, like look at that seersucker blazer. I mean, with the skirt, it's a little too conservative for my taste, but just the blazer alone is really cute. Let's see if I can find where the kid's stuff is. Aha! I know, babe. Where's the kid's stuff? Here it is. Little kids, right here. So cute. Well. He's like a size 14. I know. Let's see. Oh, here, look. Here's my outfit of the day. Here. Let's see what we got. I found these on the sale at Neiman Marcus and I'm thinking this one is great for the service and then this one might be perfect for the Gatsby themed evening party. So that's Rebecca Taylor. I couldn't tell you who makes that one, but I'm gonna go try them on. I'm thinking, this is no Sphinx. I'm thinking it's too big here. Hmm. I don't know. Of course, by the time you see this, I'll have either bought it or not bought it, but I guess I could always return it. Mm -mm. I don't like it. I don't think this does anything for me. This is what I'm wearing today. Just put them back on. It's so pretty. We're not eating out here because it's a little too humid. It's about 90 degrees. It's not too hot, but it's definitely too humid. But this is my favorite outdoor seating area, I think, in San Antonio. It's gotta be way up in the top three. And um, this pretty seating area here. And then this pretty fountain. It's just very relaxing. See the fishies. Okay, so we're doing the 2014 Spring Prairie to Homes and this is the first house we're looking at. I'm with my friend Lee, who will not go on camera, but she's here. There are her feet, oh my so God. she's a real person. And uh, I'll take you around some of these houses. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of this house. Sarah Jessica Parker. This is a shoe closet. I'm not, like, literally. That's cute. Just shoes. Kind of weird, but kind of cool. going, Lee. Look at that. Oh, that's the petanque court. That's cool. It's like night and day from the other one. I love this. Great farmhouse sink. It's 
is beautiful. Love it. Wow. I like the lights. That is cool. That's beautiful. Well, yeah. Ooh, this is my favorite exterior by hands down. Oh my gosh, my phone just will not stop ringing. morning it's 7 40 and i've been farting around for the last hour when i should have been moving along um i've got one kid off to a summer workout the other kid decided to sleep in today not have to get up at 5 15 and i don't blame him um and i am going to dye or lighten i guess my eyebrows so i just kind of wanted you to see what i do sometimes in the morning when i wake up early although i'm running a little behind um, I've done a whole video on how I lighten my eyebrows, so I'll link that in the description box. But this is what I see when I'm sitting down. So there's my little, make sure I pan out here. Okay, there's my mess. I mean, it's like a, <laughs> a bomb has gone off. I've been playing with makeup all morning already and uh, my phone so I can use it as a timer and I'm gonna sit in, I brought my laptop in and that is what I, I'm looking at my subscriptions that I subscribe to and I will watch something while I do my eyebrows. So I'll come back and let you know how they turn out. Hopefully not orange. So I've been um, putting on my makeup and for some reason I have the camera with me. Does this ever happen? Like how, how does one do that so blatantly horribly and look at my finger. <laughs> like how, how, how did I get mascara there? I don't know. Mimi? Mimi girl, how did I do that? Do you know? You do not know. You don't care. Yep. I mean, I put on makeup every day, sometimes twice a day. Gonna go get a Q-tip and fix that. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how many of you are interested in the science or the business of the behind the scenes stuff of blogging and vlogging. So I just want you to see a quick glimpse of what I do to do pictures, edit pictures, sometimes for thumbnails and today for the blog. So here's what I'm seeing. I am, I took a picture of my arm with all the swatches. I think there's a bit of a glare, but all the swatches of the new CoverGirl under eye concealer on my arm. And now I am adding, I haven't like enhanced the picture or anything. I'm not editing that, but I'm using, I'm editing the adding text so basically what i'm doing is so that everything's lined up the same i'm duplicating the same text box over and over again because i like the same angles because i'm anal like that and then i will go in and put the names of each swatch in the right spot seems like we're in our my bathroom a lot this, this week um it's been a really low-key week summer's like that i'll have days where there's lots going on or days where there's nothing going on and I can't bring you everywhere. I, um, you know, I'm still trying to keep my kids kind of low key. So um, I just wanted to show my anniversary, our anniversary was last week and I wanted to show you my rather unique anniversary present. Some people think I'm a little bit insane, but this is what I really wanted. So I got this perfume. I still have swatches on my arm, ignore that. Um, I first heard about this from Pretty Shiny Sparkly. Um, she's a blogger and YouTuber, and she's in Houston, Christina, and she has really excellent taste and raved about this. So when I was in Sephora, I gave it a sniff, got a sample, love it. It's by Nest. It's really yummy. And the bottle's really cool. See the botanical print? It's really kind of different. And then this is what I really wanted. Not the orange dress, but the steamer. I got a commercial grade steamer because I hate ironing and this is way more fun. Ooh, 
the storms are rolling in. Not here yet, but it's a coming. You all see the darkness? I mean, it looks like <laughs> it looks like Armageddon. I don't know if y'all can see that far over. I will zoom in. That is our new sectional that we just ordered and the plastic is still on the cushions, which is a good thing because it's been raining pretty much all day. And uh, it's coming together. It's coming together. Yay. Yay. Oh, look, there's, is that Mimi? She got a haircut today. Mimi girl. Hi, pretty. Oh, wow, look how pretty. I don't know what's going on, but that's really pretty. Indian wedding tonight. Oh, cool. Very, very, very so this is essentially yeah, what it would look like. This, yeah. this is so pretty. With the chargers, oh, and this what? is set up for eight people per table. With the squares, it will fit the ten. Okay. So you'll be able to be more comfortable because it's a full. So we'll use those chargers tape. and these gold tape to these yes, chairs, and then these the table. Pen. I think. Oh, it's black. We're doing black. We Napkins and red because black, you know at night people are wearing black stuff anyway So it looks nicer on yes. the lap no lint and then nice. red tablecloth red tablecloths. Okay, and then the DJ is going between those two windows Correct we can do either the DJ on this side and the presentation on that side or we can flop them It's however okay. you want and then over here What are we having over here? Oh, yeah, the script the, the, the bar the bar. Correct. Whoa, that's a head table Yes Ooh, look at it with the light. Awesome. Oh, I want this in my bedroom. <laughs> How cool is that? That's beautiful. Oh, I want to get married again. <laughs> I want a reason to have pretty okay. pink lights. Hey, I am down at my favorite place, The Pearl, at Local Coffee, and I am at this really amazing <laughs> gathering. It's a San Antonio blogging community organized by my new friend Colleen, and everybody say hello. Hi. There's Hi. Colleen. Hi. And it's just really great, you know, because blogging is usually, and there's The Pearl, the little play area where the kids run around. It's just really great because YouTubing and blogging is such a solo enterprise connect with other people doing the same thing at least once a month so you aren't a anti-social <laughs> shut in. So I'm going to go enjoy my coffee and scone and I'll see y'all later. Well, another week is coming to a close. It's early Friday evening and I have a very exciting night planned which is basically a mini Ulta haul here. Um, I'm going to be trying my new Saint Tropez bronzing mousse in the dark formula but first I will be showering with my new well only on my feet anyway my bed is scrubber and exfoliating and uh, this has nothing to do with tonight's adventures but um, I'm thinking that the regular tea tree wash that I use is too drying so I shifted to the cool and creamy version but anyway um, I'm gonna sign off this week's blog here hope you had a great week and um, next week's adventures for me start tomorrow so looking forward to filming more no idea what I'll be up to, but I'm taking you along for the ride. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.